Hey guys, it's the car tracker here, and uh, this video is to show you that I've actually purchased a hum. Uh, for some reason, Maserati is the only vehicle that the hum device on Verizon is not compatible to. But uh, according to the uh, agent that was there, he says as long as you get a click, as in like a beep, then it's mean that the system should actually work with the car. And this is it here, my friend. This thing here. Uh, so this is what supplies my internet. All right, guys. So now that we've installed the hum device in the Maserati, so now this is time to test it out to make sure it actually worked. So in all fairness, trust me, this was at least by far the best purchase ever. So now that not only did I have constant LTE internet inside of the Maserati, I can also track the Maserati as well so that's just another way of tracking the car which is great and uh, it's pretty neat so right now the I'm just showing you like the curve of the car I mean the touch screen um, show you how it actually looks when you clean it um, everything fit nice and neat without any issues uh, I really like the way it looks uh, besides the butt a big buttons that you guys call a tug of switch which is not a big deal at the moment but anyway, so this is the home right there. Um, you can get it from Verizon. It costs about $152 uh, if you buy it outright. And then the monthly data on that, it's about $20 or $25 a month uh, for true unlimited data. I, when I mean true unlimited data, your data do not ever get slowed down when you pass like a maximum, um, what you call it, a maximum gig that you've actually used. So that's the great thing about having that versus using your phone hotspot. Uh, you can actually do more with that one, streaming all you want and do everything. And it also comes with an OnStar device. So if you do get in a car accident and they could use that to locate your, uh, your locations and uh, send somebody to help you. But don't quote me on that. So I do have to call home sometime tomorrow to figure it out whether or not that they will provide the towing services uh, for the first 50 miles in the Maserati. But for some reason, they do have Maserati on their list. But when I connect the device, even though the device does get powered, it cannot read any of the system or any of the, uh, what you call it, um, data from the car for some reason, which is terrible. Um, so that's not a good thing. So they said the device is incompatible with the car, but I keep it there because the internet works. So this is me testing the internet to see how fast it actually goes. Uh, so I think the test was about 14 megabytes. So like and subscribe.